I'm a tadpole. I believe you. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the third annual episode of Clubcast. I'm Daniel. And I am Clay. Do you like how oh, I did that? Nice to meet you, Clay. Clay! <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, there wasn't a Nintendo to direct, Nintendo Direct for us to talk about this time, uh, but we can still complain about the last one a little bit. Mainly uh, Amiibo. Clay. <laughs> Amiibo pre-orders. What's going on, man? They are a complete disaster all over the internet, everywhere. Amazon hasn't even put them up yet. Amazon France put them up. Amazon Germany. Yeah, uh, every even Amazon Canada did. Didn't even, they? Yeah, even Amazon Canada did. Um, game dot game over and I. The UK put them up. Yeah, Game UK. Yeah, um, which I think is actually owned by GameStop. Yeah, it's the EB Games of Europe. Um, what else put them up? Best Buy put them up here. I wow. mean, we pretty much have pre-orders everywhere except for Walmart, um, Amazon. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, so I know last time uh, we talked about that we got some jiggly puffs. We got jigglies. So that was the high point. Uh, unfortunately, that was the same day that Ness went up, which you got. I got you Ness. got all the other Wave 4s at GameStop. Yeah. Because you were an incredibly lucky man. I was the only um, one at that GameStop that got all nine that day. Wow. Yeah. That's N pretty ridiculous. Not even the guy working there could get them. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, just this, the stocking issues, you would think, after, I mean, this is Wave 4, but technically with the Super Mario Brothers, this is the fifth wave of Amiibos. Yeah. Um, and we still just can't go to a store and buy them? No, you can't just walk into a store and be like, I want Pit. Let me buy Pit. Yeah. Although I was no. surprised. Um, I actually looked on Target.com uh, today, uh, and there was a couple of local stores that actually have a Toad. Oh, really? Yeah, so I guess Toad wound up not being quite as rare. Yeah, he's starting to pop um, back or maybe, up. Or maybe they're kind of starting to be able to phase some of them in. Yeah. Like they run out of their initial stock right away, and then they kind of send them out yeah. as they can. Um, so yeah, there's actually a couple of toads, uh, in several local targets. Oh, nice. Um, which we have a lot of target, but yeah. Yeah. He's starting um, to pop back up. Yeah. Uh, so the day after the Jigglypuff and Ness, uh, disaster. Oh yeah. Was the Toys R Us exclusive Amiibo. Which was an even worse disaster. Yeah. So what, everyone thought it was going to be like 7 to 9 a.m., and what yeah. time did it wind up being? Yeah, the big rumor was 7 to 9, so I was like, all right, I'll get up, and I'll be on there between 7 to 9. No, it went up at like 2.03 a.m. Central Time. So, I was totally I mean, asleep. it still sold out in no time at all. It, I think it was like six minutes, is what people I mean, were saying. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's crazy. That is absolutely insane. Because what, I mean, they're paying, like, what, 75 cents a figure, maybe? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not paying. How much are making these for? So, yeah. I mean, they're pure profit. Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking up Greninja Amiibo on eBay. Oh, yeah, they're probably, what, $60, $70? Um, there's one for 70 65 I like this one. Will ship win in hand. $95. Because yeah. it's just they have the pre-order. Yeah. They that's could the thing. easily be canceled. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I, I want to like deride resellers so bad, but let's say you get two of one of the exclusives. Yeah. I mean, you can sell the other one and basically get all of the rest of them if you yeah. get them all retail. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, and then if you don't get at least two of one of the exclusives, unless you're lucky enough to get one of each of the exclusives, yeah. you're not going to get it. Like right now, I'm basically in the situation where I'm not gonna get Ness, which sucks because that was the one I was really excited about. Yeah. Um, Greninja, we have what some random Monday. We have one more shred of hope for Greninja. Yeah, some random Monday morning that we have to go. Not all Toys R Us are gonna have the the pre order cards. Yeah. So you actually are supposed to call your Toys R Us the day before, hope that they know if they're gonna have it or not. And then go and try to pre-order one. Hope that you're in line before. Yeah, I called. I called ours yesterday, and they knew about it, and they knew that the, it was the they, card. Yeah, and they knew that it was the twenty seventh. Yeah. So and they were like, so, "It's first come, first serve," and I was like, "Well, duh, but duh. thanks." So it's first come, first serve on the internet too. Yeah. 
Uh, unless you're GameStop, who shut down their website for NES. They did. I never put him up there anyway. Uh, no, no, because they they ran out of they ran out in store yeah. immediately. Oh, yeah. I mean, if they ever thought anything else was going to happen, they were crazy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so you only have one Toys R Us in your town. Just one. So you had a pretty good chance that one Toys R Us getting them. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got like five in the area. <laughs> good luck. So I have to figure out which one's going to have these cards just so I can have a chance to get this figure. Yeah. That's awful. I mean, thank God we're almost done with the Smash Brothers line. Yeah. But then you get the... Uh, then then you're going to get into uh, wonderful games like Yoshi's Woolly World that's getting them, Splatoon that's getting them, every game's going to get them. Well, yeah, and then the Yoshi ones, would you say the European price actually went up? The European price, because um, I went up on Amazon, I want to say Germany is what they went up on. They might have gone up on France, and they sold out within minutes. Um. But they were higher price, and I think somebody translated it and said it's going to be about twenty bucks for a. So it's like seven dollars extra. Yeah, yeah. So it's an amiibo and a half. Pretty much, yeah. So sixty bucks for three of them. I mean, I'm still going to buy all three of them because they are the most adorable thing I, <laughs> adorable thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I need them in my bed right now. Yes. Not for like weird things, just because I need to tell them my secrets <laughs> and how much I love them. If you all missed the last video, and how they're better than we'll put, anyone else. We'll put it down there somewhere around here. You can click on it and go look at it. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm being facetious. I, I really love the Yoshi R and the Me Post. He got, he got into it. He got into it pretty deep. Well, the thing that's taken me off are these simple tune ones. Yeah. Uh, because they're selling out just as fast, if not faster, than some of the Way 4 ones. They're going pretty quick. Uh, yeah, and the issue with that is that the Splatoon ones so far seem to be like uh, the first Amiibo that actually um, does something. Yeah, that actually serve a purpose. Yeah, so I mean, I know they unlock um, cosmetic stuff. Yeah. But then when I watched the Treehouse after the Direct, it was talking about how um, when you go to a level and you do either the boy inkling or the girl inkling, uh, they actually have like a different weapon that you would use that level on. Cause like the single player, you just use the regular gun yeah. on every level. But then if you scan in the boy inkling, you get to use this gun in the level. Yeah. If you scan in the girl inkling, you get to use this gun on the level. And it looked like there's actually like different challenges and things you could do on the levels based off which weapon you had. Yeah. So if you can't get these splatoon amiibos, it's two thirds of the single player gone. Yeah, already just you can't do it. Which we, I mean, we don't know how how long the single player is going to be. Oh yeah, no. We I mean, no for idea. all we know, it could be five or six levels. But still, I mean, it hits a huge portion of extra content that is going to be unavailable unless they make these platoon amiibos, um, where you can actually find them in the store. Yeah, and if you want the squid, you better buy the triple pack. Yeah, I just I just think it's a horrible ideal for for a new IP from Nintendo to one these these characters don't even have names. Yeah, it's Squid Inkling. Boy or Squid Girl or Ink yeah. Boy or Ink Girl or whatever yeah. Boy Inkling Girl Inkling whatever they don't have names. <sighs> yeah, so they're supposed to be your player avatar, but you know if you're not going to name the character, how are people going to get an emotional attachment to it? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I can sit there and dress up my character all day long, but like even even in Animal Crossing, you know that character's known as Villager. Yeah, you know he has a name, Boy Inkling. Yeah, that's not a name. Inkling that's Boy, like, come on now. Yeah, Inkling. It's like Duck Hunt, Duck Hunt Dog. <laughs> I mean, he he's got a resurgence because of Smash Brothers, but from NES to Smash Brothers, what? did duck hunt dog do yeah he sat around in a gray cart and never got played yeah exactly um and then it it blows my mind i mean it doesn't really blow my mind i guess i guess i kind of understand uh as much as you can understand nintendo decisions yeah uh that there's not going to be any voice chat in the game oh yeah absolutely uh i mean voice chat can get pretty toxic (laughs) yeah it can but then 
if me and you try to play online together, I'm the, we're not going to be able to talk at all. Like, no, I can't say, I have no. to go this way, you go that way. We can't, you know, we can't get strategies together. We can't just, like, shoot the shit together. No. We just... I mean, that's that's half the fun when you get to, like, when you're older and playing games. It's like Nintendo just wants to completely ignore that, yes, adults like our games, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I mean, I, I get that they don't want people you know telling oh i'm gonna do this to your mom or her nobody wants to hear it but you know if we get into like a party where it's you know us and a party together we should be able to talk to each other yeah i mean half the fun is being able to you know talk to each other enjoy each other's company i mean we should be able to if we're going to play together online we should be able to talk to each other yeah. I understand not being able to talk to strangers or hear strangers because like the vitriol that they can spew. Oh. But if I want to curse you out, I should be able to curse you out. No, oh, yeah. It's been a pretty slow, uh, been a pretty slow news week. I know you don't play in the Metal Gear Solid games. No, uh, the whole Kojima really. stuff. I'm sure, if anyone's watching this, I'm sure they know about it. Yep. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, Konami can suck it. Uh, it's the exact same thing Capcom did. Yeah, and especially I think if, we all see how well that worked out for for them. It's going to work out pretty well for Mighty Number no. Nine. Oh yeah, the game looks amazing. You know, yeah. and I suck at Mega Man games. 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 I base that solely on the fact that I I cannot play them at all. <laughs> I'm absolutely awful at Mega, and I don't know what it's like. I can't even beat like the first level. It's okay. Like, yeah, it happens. like, have you been playing anything this week? Uh yeah, I have actually started. Um, I can't know. I can't say that I've actually started. I've only played about thirty minutes of it, and I know it's a game that you want to play, and that is if I can get this on here, Mother Three. Yeah, um, yeah. I played. I played about the first thirty minutes, and uh, more of the same. Yeah, it. You know, it's which isn't a bad thing when it comes. to comes with earth down mother oh no um i can't really say much about it since it's just 30 minutes in and i know it's a huge yeah. game but within that 30 minutes i'm super mad that we don't actually have the game in america yeah yeah that's a shame uh i mean same thing with uh you get the poster you got behind you I, I don't know how to say it it's secret of mana three yeah secret of mana two actually yeah well, it's, it's the third game in the series um they're just they're amazing games and there's no reason for us not to have gotten them yeah but um, it, I mean, thirty minutes in, it's excellent. I can tell I'm gonna love it. The people that did the um, English translation for it are wonderful, wonderful people. And it was people from the actual Starmen.net website, right? Yes. They did the translation. Yeah. Clyde Tomato uh, or something like that. They he goes by. Yeah. The Starmen.net website is amazing. Yeah. Um, do they, did you look, do they have a walkthrough from other three? Like they did the earthbound one. Cause that earthbound walkthrough is really well made. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't see if they had one for mother three. I did get this mother three handbook. Ooh, that's cool. What's from, it look like it's that from fangamer.com. Show us some of them pages. Oh man, that looks like, that looks really legit. It is super nice. Um, it's sold out, isn't it? I don't know if it's sold out now or not. When I looked one time, it was sold out, and then like a week later, I looked again and it was back. And I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna buy it." Cool, that's pretty tight. So I had that's that a really cool looking manual. I had that probably mm, t a month or two before I got the actual game. While you were waiting on the repro cart? Yeah, because I was trying to find a place that was still selling the repro cart. We are hopefully finally going to start recording for Earthbound. Yeah. So you guys I heard know. here first. Six months ago, <laughs> we're gonna do a video about Earthbound, our first actual uh, video game book club uh, video together. Yeah. Um, we've done these club casts. Clay did a review on uh, Mario Party Ten, which you haven't seen. Go watch because I was incredibly impressed with uh, that being a first review that someone's ever done. It was awesome, uh, and it's you. an okay. <laughs> it's an okay game. <laughs> uh, but the, yeah, we're the review is better than the game. We're gonna tape our Earthbound video. Uh, this weekend so hopefully that should be online uh sometime next week uh near, near the end of next week yes um so you have that to look forward to go play it yo it to yourself i think we talked about it in the first episode don't buy the cartridge 
go buy a Wii U and download it on the virtual console because it's the same price. The uh, Club Nintendo uh, ran out of Earthbound codes, so for a little, uh, about a day or so, uh, it was sold out on Club Nintendo. You could no longer redeem that as one of your rewards. Yeah. Yeah. Really they did close. the Platinum rewards, and there really wasn't a whole lot. And I did get one of the Platinum rewards. Um, I got Yoshi's New Island. Yeah. I've been playing a little bit of that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yoshi's like one of your favorite characters. I love, I love me some Yoshi. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it's fun. I have played the first level. It's like the Yoshi's Island from Super Nintendo. Uh, it's got a baby in it that cries all the time. Um, the baby's in it. I haven't lost him off Yoshi's back yet, so I don't know if he cries or not. Mister Professional over here. It's the first level. It's the first level. <laughs> yeah, Mega Man's first level, and it doesn't matter. That's true. It's true. Um, but it actually goes and tells some of the story of why the Yoshi's have Mario. I see for like fifteen bucks. Should I get it? Yeah. I'm not going to. I hate Yoshi. Yeah. If I don't hate Yoshi. I hate Yoshi Island. I got this for fifteen dollars. I can't see it. Well, no Paper one. Mario sticker star. Paper Mario sticker star. Yeah, I'd pay fifteen dollars for that. What I do you think? Um, it get it gets a lot of hate. Um, the internet thinks it deserves it. Yeah, and it's completely different than other Paper Mario games. I'll give it that. It's harder, I think, than other Paper Mario games. Okay. So you have to collect stickers in order to attack. If you run out of stickers and an enemy attacks you, you either run or you're screwed. So is it, I mean, from what you've played, is it easy to run out of stickers? Like, is that like an issue to, that you have to be concerned about all the time? I haven't run out of stickers yet. Okay. Um, the only issue is running out of health because you have to... Like in other games, you found a heart block and you hit the heart block and you restored your health. This is the same way. There's just not as many heart blocks. You have to find heart stickers and use heart stickers during battle. It sounds exhausting. It's it's different. Um, I don't hate it, but I can see why other people wouldn't like it. So you're not saying the internet's wrong. You're just saying you disagree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You been playing anything else? Zombie you. Oh yeah, we talked about that. Finally, I actually got it for eight dollars. So big, sh- big shout out to the GameStop employee who gave me a brand new copy for eight dollars <laughs> instead of the used copy I was supposed to get. Uh, it's fun. Um, it's v- extremely frustrating. How so? You go around if you die. Um, your body's turned into a zombie and you start over with somebody else. You have to go find your old body. And kill the zombie and get your stuff back. So what happens if you die again? Do you lose it all? It depends on what mode you're playing on. Like if I if I die and leave my stuff somewhere and then yeah. I die again before I get to it, is it still gonna be there? Yeah, you still have to go to the first zombie body. Okay, so it's still gonna be there. Yeah, he'll still be there. And then there's another cool. mode. There's another mode that if you play it, you have to beat the entire game in one go. That's it. That's cool. Yeah, I'd actually like to do that. So it's like an actual, you know, zombie apocalypse where if you die, that you're done. Yeah, I thought about getting that. If I see it for like ten dollars or less, I'll probably pick it up. Oh yeah, it's good. Uh, it was like it was like basically a launch title. Yeah, they had a special Wii U um, box version. Like it came packaged with a Wii U. How about you? Any games? Any games your way? Yeah, uh, I've been playing a lot of. Um, mobile games uh, uh here lately nintendo uh, would love I you don't usually do yeah uh i started playing final fantasy record keeper yep uh because i'm a huge huge final fantasy fan so of course i'm gonna play that oh yeah uh nintendo would really uh, love you now cool. it's totally nostalgic yeah because it's the same company that uh, nintendo just signed with absolutely uh, so, I mean, if they can make it like Final Fantasy Record Keeper, the Nintendo games might be all right. Yeah. Um, the microtransactions are basically completely, uh, unnecessary yeah. in the game. Yeah. Uh, basically you play through paintings. Yeah. Uh, for the different Final Fantasy games. Okay. Um, and it's basically moments during the game. Like the first painting is the very beginning of Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Um, you play through basically the reactor. 
Uh, you've got four or five fights that you basically do, and then you fight the boss at the end that you actually fight in the Final Fantasy VII reactor oh, yeah, in the beginning cool. of the game. Um, so it's really cool um, that you can get all that. You unlock characters like I've got Cloud and Titus nice. from Final Fantasy X. Um, I've got some Final Fantasy IV characters. Uh, it's it's pretty neat. Um, basically, though. I haven't had to use anything with microtransactions. Not that I would. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give them any money. I mean, it can just sit there and wait and gain time back. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not going to pay money for it. Pay money to speed it up. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Um, I would uh, pay like five bucks just to like unlock not having to use that. Like constant play. Yeah, I would totally do that. Yeah. Um, maybe even seven. <laughs> That'd be that'd probably be my max. Yeah, uh, it's basically just a huge nostalgia trip. So if you yeah. love the Final Fantasy games, Record Keeper is definitely something you're gonna like. And it's on uh, iOS, Android. Yeah, like, yeah. I've got I've just got a I've got a Galaxy S4, so I've got it on there. Sweet. And it, it runs it runs perfectly fine. A lot better than a lot of other games. Yeah. But uh, other than that, I also been playing uh, the Pokemon Shuffle. Oh yes. Uh, yes. Match three that Nintendo released for free. Mm-hmm. Uh, that one is not like Final Fantasy Record Keeper. It's not a horrible game. It's a pretty decent match three. Yeah. Um, and it's fun for you know the ten minutes you get to play before you run out of hearts. Oh, does it do that? It does uh, it the same way. Sometimes you get a jewel so you can get more hearts. Uh, but most of gotcha. the time you just gotta wait. I think like thirty minutes per heart, so mm-hmm. two and a half hours before you can play really a lot. Yeah. Is that on 3DS or? Yeah, 3DS. See, that's one of the games that DNA would be good to take to a mobile phone. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully the free to play uh, stuff is more like Record Keeper and not Pokemon Shovel. Yeah. Um, because basically, like, Pokemon Shuffle, all I've been doing uh, is playing my five rounds mm-hmm. um, and then I'm done for the day. Yeah. Because then I'm going to play Animal Crossing. For an hour and then i'm done playing on my 3ds nice uh so but then yeah animal crossing uh i i play about an hour a night every night nice um, because i love it yeah i love the town they are my best friends uh they don't when i make suggestions about things they don't delete them all <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> oh yes <laughs> um you know uh, i unlocked the island i've paid off a couple of house loans yeah uh which is kind of weird <laughs> i have not paid I unlocked off the island loans. and you can make like buku money on um, when you go to the island yeah it's they go to like the island and i just catch a bunch of bugs and i go back and sell them make like 100 grand nice and then i go back to the island make another 100 grand if only it was that so, easy it makes it a lot easier um, I really like the fortune cookie items because mm-hmm. they're all Nintendo themed. Like I've got Samus's pants, uh, which I think you also get her shirt and her helmet, so you can be Samus. Okay, I was gonna say, um, don't take Samus's pants; she needs those. <laughs> I've got uh, Midna's uh, like uh, helmet thing that she wears in Twilight Princess. Yeah, uh, I've got triple bananas for mario kart i've got uh fire flower for mario nice uh and then the thing i actually wear on my character i've got Link's hat it's kind of cool it actually comes with like the the hair the hair and stuff yeah so like my character actually like walks around and he has Link's hat on all the time um it's still absolutely pointless yeah it's but you love it the most pointless game ever um it's incredibly relaxing i can basically go to bed right after i play it nice <laughs> which don't confuse relaxing and boring. Those are two different things. <laughs> boring uh, makes you angry. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, I would not pay... See, I was going to say I wouldn't pay $40 for it, but then I sit here and think, I've definitely gotten $40 worth of enjoyment out of it. Yeah, so you probably... You you would probably... I wouldn't pay $40 for it, but that I think that's a mistake to say you wouldn't pay $40 for it. Because you're going to get more than $40 of enjoyment out of it. I mean, I've had it for like a week and a half now, and I've put in at least an hour a day. Nice. And it's going to keep going because there's still several home loans for me to pay off. Yeah. Um, I still have to upgrade a lot of stuff. 
Uh, there's all this like feng shui stuff to learn about. So you can get like, they judge your house and like they give you points and stuff. Yeah. I don't know why, but I, I want, I want the most points. Of course. Um, but then the only other thing I did, uh, I actually used my platinum reward uh, for tropical freeze. Oh yeah. Good game. Uh, I played through the first level uh, and I was really kind of surprised because it was like 15 minutes long. Just one level. Yeah. It's yeah. Long. The levels are super long and there's a ton of stuff to do in them yes. because I was convinced I checked every nook and cranny in that first level and I wound up with five of nine puzzle pieces. Yeah. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting some time and going through it. Um, I don't think it's going to replace 3D World. No, uh, no. As far as I'm concerned, 3D World is perfect. 3D World is phenomenal. Yeah. So, uh, but it's still, it's really good. Um, yeah. It's been a long time since I think I sat down and played a Donkey Kong game and thought it was really good. Yeah. So, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. So I guess the only other thing is the one that we both played, kind of the reason we're doing the club cast today. Yes, and I'm going to have to take a quick break because I have to poop. <laughs> <laughs> so to the game uh, that we both played this week, Super Mario RPG and Legend of the Seven Stars. Definitely not eight. Because there's seven stars in the game, not eight. Uh, true. Uh <laughs> This is your first time playing? This is my first time. Only 20 years late, just like Chrono Trigger. But. Yeah. 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 There's nothing no, wrong with that. There's nothing no, wrong with that. No. So I know you like the Paper Mario games a lot. I do. Um, so, yeah. so far, what do you think? Um, I would have liked this to have continued instead of Paper Mario, but I'm ha- I am okay with the Paper Mario series. Except um, for the Wii one. Yeah, other than the Wii one. Uh, uh, it it's really good. I like that that Square had something to do with it. I think that really mm-hmm. helped. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the release dates, uh, but I think this might have been their last game on the Super Nintendo. Oh yeah. Uh, so this actually came out after Chrono Trigger, I believe. Oh, nice. Uh, so I guess this was kind of like their farewell, <laughs> their parting gift to Nintendo. I mean, nice. after this, it was basically PlayStation for yeah, almost two whole generations. I mean, they had Crystal Chronicles on the GameCube. Yeah. Um, but they basically didn't make Nintendo anything for the 64. Um, no. And then they didn't come back until the GameCube. Yeah. Yeah, and it was it's a nice parting gift, too. It's, an, it's a wonderful game so far. Yeah, I really like how it opens up. Uh, Mario... Uh, going into Bowser's keep to get the princess. Yeah, that's pretty kind of cool. like, hey, here's the end of a normal Mario game, but it's just the beginning of our Mario masterpiece. Exactly. It's it's like, <laughs> oh yeah, I saved the princess. Wow, I've already beat the game. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> and then a giant sword comes and cleaves the castle <laughs> in two. Yeah. That was pretty <laughs> sweet. Out of nowhere, just this giant talking sword. Yeah, no big deal or anything. Oh. <laughs> You actually get to see Mario's house Mm -hmm. in this game. Yeah. Mario's pad. Yeah, that's the first time you get to see it. And then you also see it in the Paper Mario games. Oh, do you you know, I I don't know if I've ever actually played any of the Paper Mario games. At least, I'm trying Um, to think. Because I knew they would fail in comparison. I think at least in the 64 version is the only one I can remember. But you start off in this house. Oh, do you? Um, So it's kind of cool. It introduces you to the combat and everything yeah uh the timed hits i really yeah. like that i can do that little bit of extra damage or defense yeah you um, time right yeah i mean you pretty much just i mean you played a couple rpgs until here recently yeah. you're basically i mean still pretty new to rpgs yeah so i mean was there anything that stood out to you in the battle system or anything like what did you think about it um the the only reason I kind of knew about the the timed hits in this one is because Paper Mario has them. Um, but in Paper Mario, it's like they don't introduce it until a little bit later, and then you're kind of coached through it. And this one is just kind of like, yeah. uh, yeah, if you figure out how to do it, it's gonna happen right off the bat. <laughs> yeah. But um, so that is pretty cool. You get the extra bit of damage for that. You can save some hit points by blocking. Uh, I like it. Uh, I like the battle system in it, but I like 
I apparently really enjoy Square's battle system. So, <laughs> yeah, Square does a really good job in all the yeah. games. Uh, in this one, it's actually turn based. Yep. Uh, so, and there might be an ATB in the background, but it's not displayed at least. Mm-hmm. Uh, it seems more turn based, like the older ones. Yeah. Where you know we have our turns, and you have your turn, and we're gonna have our turns again. Yeah. Um, which is kind of cool. I really like that the uh, options in battle are actually mapped to the buttons. Yeah, that's uh, on the cool. Super Nintendo controller. Yeah. Yeah, and if, um, I definitely like. Go ahead, what? Like if if I've I always messed up there at the very beginning, like I would try to do like a special or a magic attack, and I would hit I think it's Y, and then I would try to select it with A, and it's like nope, we're going back to normal attack. I was like ah, yeah, it cancels out of the menu. Yeah, and I was like okay, I gotta keep hitting yeah. Y. Yeah, I like how you fight Bowser there at the very beginning. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's basically an easy to win fight. Yeah. And then the first real boss is the, actually the Hammer Bros. Yeah. Yeah, uh, after Mushroom Way when you're trying to go to the Mushroom Kingdom for the first time. Yep. Uh, and then, of course, when you get to the Mushroom Kingdom, you get your first party member. Mallow. Uh, yeah, the the uh, toad pool. Tadpole. Yeah, the, the whatever tadpole thing who's not yeah, really he's a, totally a tad who's not really a tadpole but oh yeah oh yeah well you don't know that you don't know what mallow is yet it's true i actually i actually he's don't play to the fourth star fourth so star. far um which i that is actually I, i've played through the entire game except for the very very end yeah um because on my super nintendo copy uh, the I fought the final boss and I lost, uh, and it deleted my save. That's so sad. I've never seen the ending, so that'll be new to me. That's cool. <laughs> hopefully it yeah. doesn't. Hopefully we'll it doesn't experience. go away. We'll both get to experience that together. Yay! Um, I kind of like uh the Mushroom Kingdom. You get to like see the Chancellor and everything, yeah. and there's some shops, and you get your party member. You get introduced to Croco. No. Uh-huh. The little crocodile that's got like they're not shoes, but they're like they're just the ankle part of the shoes. <laughs> they're the Crocs. Uh, yeah, he's got his Crocs on. Uh, <laughs> and then I guess he's the next boss you fight in. Uh, oh man, uh, uh, Bandit's Way after the Mushroom yes. Kingdom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, and then when you go back, uh. Smithy's gang has come in and taken over. Yeah. And you've got the shy guys, uh, the shy oh. guy looking guys. Yeah. Chasing around mushroom people thing. Yeah. And you chase them for like ever. Yeah. You can just, yeah. I mean, I always go in and I just kill everything. Yes. Like, oh, you're a bad guy. You're dead. Yeah. You're a bad guy. You're dead. Yeah. I, I don't really, uh, I don't think there's been any parts where I've been like, yeah, I'm going to try to go this way and not fight you. <laughs> Yeah, because that's something we didn't talk about. Uh, you, it's not random encounters. I mean, you actually see the enemies on the screen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so like run into them and then go into the battle screen. Yep. Uh, which is pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, I do. Uh, I, and so, same, the same way with Chrono Trigger. Yeah, you saw them. Uh, where you actually got to see the enemies. Yeah. Um. So that's pretty cool. But then in Mushroom Kingdom, uh, you get to fight Mac the Knife. Uh, or not the Mac the Knife, he's not Mac the Knife, he's on a pogo stick. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and I think that's actually where you get your first star piece, right? That's where star we got piece. our first star piece? Yeah. And then, yeah. They, then they explain um, it to you. Well, do they explain it to you then? Uh, it's when you go through the sewers and fight Balloom or something like that, mm-hmm. which is uh, the boss I always don't like. <laughs> The big dog thing that like eats you, yeah, you know, or yeah, and like turns you into a scarecrow, yeah, which is like the most ridiculous status effect ever. <laughs> like here, turn into a Batman villain because I can. Oh. And, I mean, you basically can't do anything. Yeah, you're just stuck. I mean, sit there and you can't do anything. I think mm. what I think maybe you can use an item if you have the item that unscarecrows you. you. Can that, I think that's the only thing you can do if you have the one that unscarecrows you. You can use it. But if he sits there and turns you into a scarecrow, I mean, you're done. Yeah. Because you still only have two party members, Mallow mm-hmm. and Mario. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I mean, you got your first star piece, but whoop to do da. Yeah, and that's that's one thing. And I don't know if they do this later on in the game or not, but that's one thing I liked about um, Paper Mario, at least the first one, sixty four, is that as you collected the, the star pieces, they gave you powers. Like you would get the first one, and then you would have this new special power that used star power. And then as you went on, like they uh, they got more and more powerful. And no, uh, this has got the flower points. Yeah, yeah. And I guess you just learn new moves uh, based off your level. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, Mario's got, like, the jump and the fireball, and he gets a super jump eventually. Yeah, and then super fire. Uh, yeah, and the super jump, I think, is the one where you can actually, uh, like, you jump on the bad guy, and, uh. like, you can keep timing it and just keep going. I think there's something, like, if you do it 100 times, oh, wow. you get, like, a it's part of a, part of a side quest kind of mission. Dang. Uh, to do the super jump like a crap ton of times. Yeah, I don't think uh, I'll just, like ridiculous time. I don't think I'll be getting that. Yeah, I really like the part uh, when you leave the sewers, the river part. Yeah, where you're like on the barrel. Yeah, you have to like jump and get the coins and everything. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. Add those yeah. kind of mini games. Switch over to other barrels. There's a there's a couple of them. There's one. Yeah, there's one later on uh, when we were in uh, Booster's Tower. Yep. Uh, to catch the butterflies. Yeah. That one's a good one. Uh, so I thought those were pretty cool. Um, there's always side quests. Always side quests. Yeah, there's a, there's there's quite a bit. Um, because here in a little while, did you go to Yoster's Island? Yoster, Yoster, I think so. yes, yeah, it's I did. A, it's a it's a where you, optional is, place where you race you go through Yoshi? the pipe. The yeah, thing? where you actually yeah. have Yoshi race Boaster. Or yeah. Blue. Booster, or whatever his name is. Yeah. Uh, the the mean purplish bluish Yoshi with yeah. sunglasses on. Yeah. Which come on, he he needs to come back. Boshi. He needs to be in another. Yeah, Boshi. Boshi. Of course, they also need to bring Gino back, but we haven't gotten to where Gino is yet, quite in our talk. Who's Gino? Um, yeah. <laughs> of course, they also need to bring Gino back, but we haven't gotten to where Gino is yet, quite in our talk. Who's Gino? Um, yeah, yeah. So. This is where you basically find out that there's no way uh, that Mallow's a tadpole when you go to meet yeah. his grandfather. Yeah, who's like an actual honest to god frog. Yeah, and frog. What frog? Fucius. Frog fucius. Frog fucius. Frog frog yeah, bird? you gotta give him the cricket pie. Yeah. You gotta give them the cricket pie you got earlier. Yeah. But then, like, there's actual tadpoles, like, you jump on their heads, like, yeah. over, like, they're a bridge. Yeah. He is not the cousin of the Stay Fuff Marshmallow Man. He is a cloud. Um, <laughs> not a tadpole. So then the next place is where you actually get uh, Gino after you go to the Rose Town. Yeah. And they're, like, under attack by the arrows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you kind of follow them through the uh, forest maze. Mm hmm. Yeah. Did Hoping you uh did you did you cheat to get the directions or did you just follow Gino really well? Um I can't I can't remember. I can't really remember how I got there. I think I tried to follow Gino. I got lost a couple times. I ended up back at the beginning. Yeah. And then I finally was able to follow him through. I mean it took me six or seven tries. To finally be able to it's get... It's kind of an annoying area. Yeah. Uh, there's another one. I that... would say the sewer. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. There's, there's a couple more that were really annoying to try to go through, but... Yeah. Made it through them. We'll get there. The the, the sewer where we wrote, where you fought at Bellum. Yeah. That is... I, I don't know why. That's like my least favorite part of the game. Yeah. Uh, It's... uh, I, I just... I, I've never liked that, that yeah. level very much. Um, compared to the rest of the game. Yeah. Uh, but then you, uh, get a fight Bowyer at the end of the forest. The, yeah. The He's one. got a pretty cool fighting mechanic. Yeah. Well, yeah. So when you get into a fight with him, uh, like when you do an attack, he'll shoot an arrow and it'll hit that button where you can't do attacks anymore. Mm -hmm. 
So you kind of have to like go back and forth doing attacks and magic against them. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. He has that ability to lock the buttons. On yeah. The controller. Um, I don't which, like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I it's, mean, it it's cool, but I don't like it. I, I kind of like Mario. Uh, one of the main reasons I like Mario RPG, um, you don't gain a whole lot of levels. No. So you can't just muscle your way through everything. Mm hmm. Uh, a lot of the boss fights have like a gimmick. Yeah. Like this one where he locks certain things so you can't use them. Yeah. Or I mean, even Bellum, which I don't like, but you know, he does the scarecrow status effect and that's kind of his gimmick. That yeah. and I think he eats you too. Um, but you know, so they have gimmicks. It's not just, well, I'm going to go grind out some levels. Like, I mean, like in Final Fantasy, most of the time, if you lose to a boss, you just go kill some enemies, gain a couple yeah. levels, then go back and you're you just do enough damage now to where it's not going to matter yeah um but with this one you it you know what i'm saying it takes a whole lot of thinking <laughs> yeah but i mean you 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 have to you have to pay a little more attention especially i mean if you don't hit those time hits yeah uh, hit the defense i mean you can kind of you, you can, can be done be quick pretty easy yeah yeah i mean you don't and, and it's the same way in um and i'm gonna keep going to paper mario because it's the one that i've played but, well, it's pretty much the spiritual successor to the game. Yeah, and it it um, it's the same way. You don't level up like at all. Yeah, it, it takes forever. So you just you have to be smart about your moves, how you use them, when you heal, and yeah. then Paper Mario Sticker Star. You don't level up at all. So, oh really? You yeah. just get stronger stickers, or uh, you get stronger stickers, and um, you find you the. HP plus hearts throughout the game. It's kind of like Zelda hearts. Yeah. Mm. I, I mean, it's it's completely different than the other uh, Paper Mario's. So. Yeah. But then after you beat him, you actually go back. You got your second star piece now. Um, and then that's when you can actually go through the pipe vault and do the Yoster Island. Yeah. And yeah. go and race Yoshi and everything. Yep. Uh, which is kind of cool mini game. It's a nice little distraction. Um. After that, you go to the coal mines, or Moleville. Yes. In the coal mines, you run into uh, Croco again. Yeah. And then fight the actual area boss, the uh, the bomb guy, Puncha Punchinello. Pun pun pun. Yeah. Punchella. Like he puts out little bombs at first. Yeah. Uh, and then he puts out a bigger bomb. And then a bigger one. And I think he puts out a bigger bomb. Yep. And then he puts out the biggest bomb and kills himself yeah and the entire mine <laughs> yeah yeah it just blows the whole place up yeah he's like whatever if mario hits me one more time i'm dead anyways i might as well just blow myself up uh but then you got your third star piece the pacing is really well done because you basically have you know here's a place here's a star here's a place here's a star here's a place here's a star but then it gets broken up and you go to booster's tower yeah uh, which is where you find out he has the princess. <gasps> so the princess isn't even in uh, the uh, castle yeah. anymore. He's, she's gone. Yeah, and who joins your party at the beginning of Booster's Tower, Clay? Oh, no, no. He doesn't join your party. You become, oh, no, yeah, that's right. you become part of the Koopa troop. That's right. That's right. Because he feels bad King for you. Koopa ain't going to join your party. He drafts you into the Koopa troop. Pretty much. Yeah. Mario is now Mario is now a bad guy. I really like Booster's Tower. Yeah, uh, it's different. Oh yeah, definitely uh, different. Did you do the behind the curtain thing and you like you come out and you're eight bit Mario? <laughs> yes, and I'm glad you brought that up because I am going to put a screenshot of that up now or a picture that I took of it. Oh, did you? Because it is amazing. So yeah, <laughs> I did it. I did it, and I was like, this is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty neat thing for them to do. Um, I like the portrait puzzle in Booster's Tower, where you, where have, you have to, to memorize memorize which one the order. order they are. Yeah. yeah, I really like that. That's pretty cool. Um, and then you actually have to uh, fight Booster and then the knife guy and great guy bosses. Yeah, uh, he's marrying Princess Peach. Yeah, yeah. So you go down Booster's Hill and you go to Mary Moore, and you're in the actual chapel where they're going to get married. 
Yeah. And is the scene with the wedding before or after you fight the cake? Before, because you fight the cake because it's mad that nobody's going to eat it. So who kissed who kissed who when you played? Because uh, it can be different. I got um, um, Booster and Bowser kissed. Did you? And I, I think I got Pooh. Booster and Mario. <laughs> nice. I got I lucky. I got lucky um, to find the crown because I had no idea where it was. And it was basically just like a rage thing that I was so mad I didn't know where it was. I jumped on Booster's head. And then Peach just got Peach kind of makes some kind of snide comment about it. Oh yeah, that's a picture for the scrapbook, Mario. Mine was uh it tastes like sandpaper. Or it feels like sandpaper. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought that I thought that was really cool. I mean it's just kinda it's neat to have like I mean it's part of the main quest, but it's not part of like the main quest. Like it's not part of getting the seven stars. Yeah. They kind of take this break and give you like this great place, Booster's Tower. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a brand new character. Yep. Uh, it's got a really cool boss with the cake. Um, it's a little, the cake's probably one of the harder bosses. The cake's aggravating, yeah. That we fought so far. Yeah. Uh, it's got a couple of different mo- modes. Yep. Um, it's got, yeah. when it first comes out, it's got the chef there with it. Yep. Uh, but they can't, they can't be killed. They can't be killed and you can't do damage to the cake yet. And then the cake tries to eat you. And then you have to hit it until the candles are out. <laughs> yeah. Because if you're not going to eat the cake, it's going to eat you. Pretty much. And that's just how things are in the world. That's life. Uh, but then you kind of go like on a tour to go back to some places because now you get the princess. Mm-hmm. But I mean, come on, we're not going to put the princess in danger. The princess got to go back to the castle. Of course. And she's going to stay there always. Yeah. Duh. She's totally not going to jump out and use her, her parasol as no. a parachute and be like uh mario dog i'm coming with you yeah i'm coming i'm coming with you and mario is not gonna say sure why not just not say anything i like when he acts things out in the game a lot yeah Uh, like at the beginning when toad comes to his pad and mario like gets up on the bed he's like jumping and stuff and like (laughs) acting out the fight with bowser and then like the sword falls and like mario like walks off into the into the air yeah and then like acts like he's gonna fall and runs back Kind of like acting out like how the bridge collapsed and everything when he went back to get Toad slogged with the sword. Yeah. Uh, the, those kind of things are really cool that they were like, yeah, Mario doesn't talk, but he is the best pantomime in the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. And you go meet Mallow's grandpa again. Um, he's like, yo, dog, go to Star Hill. But basically, you play through Star Hill. Uh, there's no fights or anything. It's just a nice little relaxed area after going through all the Booster Tower stuff. Yeah, uh, you get to read everyone's most intimate thoughts. <laughs> Which is totally cool. I mean, Mario's not going to tell anybody unless they're easily act at, unless unless he can easily act them out. But then you get your fourth star, and you're basically I mean you're halfway through the game. You got four seven. So what do you think so far? I am absolutely in love with it. I mean, it's it's top notch. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it definitely shows that it's one of the last Super Nintendo games. Duh, uh, yeah, and it definitely shows. Well, I'm not going to say it's as good as Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is phenomenal. Chrono Trigger is excellent. Um, I, d- I think it definitely shows how much Square had learned uh, about making a solid RPG. It's good. And um, after playing this, I'm extremely happy with how much Nintendo took from it when making the original Paper Mario. Yeah. Yeah, the original one is a lot like it. Yeah. Other than, you know, he's a piece of paper. Yeah. That was new. That was <laughs> and that was pretty much it. I would have I would have killed for Super Mario RPG too, like a actual yeah. direct sequel. It's not hard and it's not long. There there's a secret boss later that's more Final Fantasy geared than Ooh. Super Mario RPG. Nice. Um and he can be a little tough if you don't get the lazy shell equipment. Yeah. Uh, so you'll want to make sure you get that uh, if you're going to fight him, which, I mean, wow. I'm going to fight him. So you want to get the lazy shell equipment, gain some levels. He, he can be pretty tough. Well, I guess that's about it for today. Uh, if you good. guys would, please uh, keep watching for just a few more minutes. Uh, we're going to have a special announcement right after Sometimes. Or maybe now. Maybe it's a lie. See you all. I'm going to bed. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for sticking around and watching our third Clubcast video about Super Mario RPG on Super Nintendo. Um, or, 
you know, fast forwarding to the end so you can get to the contest rules, you know, whatever yeah. floats your boat. Uh, just to show that we appreciate your all's time, um, we wanted to do something special this time and have another giveaway. Yeah, last time we gave away the Wii Fit Trainer Amiibo, only it was the European version. So, yeah, so we're going to up the ante here, and this time we're going to give away two Amiibo. We're giving away two Amiibo? Wh what are they? Oh, come on, you know exactly what they are. You're part of this channel. Oh, yeah, come that's on. right. Uh, one of them is my favorite party member in Super Mario RPG, uh, Bowser. And the other Wonderful one choice. Wonderful choice. is a Golden Mario, which for some reason I hear people like. I don't know. It's like they just took the normal Mario and spray painted it gold. And they sell it at Walmart, so it can't be too special. I don't know. We're going to give it away. <laughs> We're going to give it away. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. how can they sign up for the contest, Clay? Uh, the contest is going to be hosted over on our website, and we're going to put a link in the description below. Uh, you can head over there and find out more details, how to enter. You can enter um, up to eight times, so just head on over there to find out everything else. Cool. Hey, guys, we just want to say thanks. Uh, if you like this video, we've got two other Clubcasts. Uh, before this one, the one before this, Clubcast number two, was about the Nintendo Direct. And the one before that, we actually went over Chrono Trigger, which was Clay's first time playing through the game. Plus, 20 years um, later. We also have an awesome review that Clay did for Mario Party 10. Uh, it was, I thought it was really no, good for someone's the, first review. The game wasn't that good. Oh, yeah. The yeah. review was excellent. Yeah. <laughs> the review, experiencing the review is actually better than playing the game. It's so, true. Unfortunately. It's not a lie. Uh, and... Uh, Clay's actually been talking about on the channel for the 20 of you all that have been watching it for a while yeah. uh, about us doing an Earthbound video for about six months. That is finally uh, coming. And we are actually working on that right now. Uh, so you'll have that coming here soon too. Uh, so we got other content. If you like it, share it out there. Share it with your friends, your family, your mom's friends, your dad's friends. We'll take them all. Anyone who wants to watch it, I don't care if your grandma watches the channel as long as they watch it. Uh, comment below. Let us know what you liked about the video. Uh, what your favorite boss was, uh, your favorite place in the game so far. If you haven't ever played the game, uh, you've got probably about another week before we meet back up and do the club cast and finish yeah. it off. So Go play it. Get real. out there and play it. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. See you all. Thanks for watching our video. We appreciate it. Yeah, we know you all are busy, and we love that you've taken time to hang out with us for a little while. While you're here, why don't you check out some of our other videos we've made? You kind of owe us now. And we have a website that you can browse through too, you know, if you want to. You can also check us out on Twitter and Facebook. All those links are right here, so it's easy. If you want to see more stuff from us, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, and also leave this video a big thumbs up. That would be super awesome. Well, until next time, take, take care, care everyone. everyone. I can finally take these pants off. Why did you have pants on? You can't see them. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs>